Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. This video is a part of Elementor Basics playlist in which we discuss about each feature, every widget and all things Elementor. For more info on other features and other widgets, check out Elementor Basics playlist on the channel. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about Elementor Text Editor widget. Don't let the name fool you, this editor widget basically can do more than just text formatting. For instance, if you have any plugins installed for your old WordPress editor, all those plugins show up in your text editor widget. So you can have all those functionalities by default. Even if you're using Gutenberg, if you're missing that old WordPress functionality, you can get the same functionality in text editor widget. I don't know for how long Elementor is going to support them. But if it if they keep this forever, well, this will be a game changer because it can run all the plugins which are built for the text editor interface. And as text editor is a part of Elementor, it's going to stay forever. I hope they support this interface forever. Let's see how that turns out. But text editor can do more than just text formatting. It's almost like four or five widgets in one. So it's a heading widget, it's an image widget, it's a button widget, it can act as as many widgets as you want but all packed into one compact interface. Let me show you what I mean. To start with, it's the same classic editor that you used to see in WordPress. So it's a simple interface. So there's just one editor interface, nothing much and then you have an option to link all this to a dynamic field. So you can link it to post date, post title, whatever. So instead of typing or entering any content into the text editor widget, you can link it if you have the pro version using the dynamic option. Other than that, you can also use a drop cap feature. So there's a drop cap. If you want that, you can use that. However, you can achieve drop, drop cap using CSS as well. So not a big deal. And under style, you have your regular settings for aligning your text. So you can justify your text. You can align it onto the left, onto the center, onto the right or whatever can change the text color and then you have all your typography options so you can change the font size font weight transform and all that that you find in element heading widget and here's another fun little feature this is a css feature called multi column well when you have a lot of content you can make the content span across various columns let me show you what i mean so here i have one piece of text so I'll just align it onto the left and if I select multi call and if I make it three, you can see the whole content is divided into three columns. Of course, you can do this with CSS. I'll show you that in a bit, but just bear in mind that when you select the columns, you can also pick the columns based on the type of device. So for mobile, maybe you can pick two columns and so on. So if you have any content, your content will be spanned across various columns. You can't see the columns, but your browser automatically calculates these and puts the content in that. And then you can specify a column gap as well. So that's it for the text editor widget, but it is a hell lot powerful. Let's start with the text part. As it's a WordPress text editor interface, you can do all sort of stuff that you can do with the old classic editor. For instance, you can do all the embeds right within the Elementor text editor interface. Let me show you. So here I have a YouTube video from Gary V. So I can simply click on share, click on embed, can copy the code for embedding the video, can go back to my text editor interface. I need to click on text. And here, let me give a space. Let me, let me paste the embedding code and that's it. That's all I need to know. I just embedded YouTube video and YouTube, sorry, WordPress supports a lot of embeds. You can also embed slide share slides. So if you have any interesting slide, you can pick any slide from slide share and just embed it within your website. This is really cool. So I'll just pick one, maybe this one I'll pick. So I'll pick this slide. I'll click on embed. So again, I'll click on the text editor interface. I'll copy this again. I'll paste the code and just like that I embedded that particular slide. 
let's go to our visual interface I just have my slide I can interact with this so I can click and interact with this all the stuff that you would do you can also go full screen that's the option provided of course they have the branding you cannot eliminate the branding because you just embedded the slide but that's not a problem so you can do all sorts of that stuff to start with and I think nobody else uses Elementor to do this if you if they want to use or embed a YouTube video they simply use the video widget well that you can do that but you can natively do that using the text editor interface like I said it's four to five widgets in one and most people use Elementor shortcode widget to put their shortcodes but good news is that you can also use shortcodes within your text editor widget well it will work just fine so for instance I just put my Elementor template shortcode itself you can directly put it in the visual area you don't have to switch to the text area of the widget so text is for coding purposes I'll show you that I'll show you a few other CSS tricks so you may not see the preview here you can click on the preview changes and you can see that my template is live so I just embedded the template within my page just by using the Elementor text editor widget so I just pasted the short code and just put my whole template within the text editor widget that's really cool yeah you can also change the whole content into a numbered list just like that by selecting and selecting the numbered list or an unordered list you can add to a single link or a single word you can change the text color of your selection so you can pick any text from here and change its color so it will just change the color of the text that you say so you can do all the basic formatting stuff so you can also have a horizontal line here so it will separate that just like a ruler and you can do all sorts of stuff but what else can you really do why is it that powerful like I previously said you can do all sorts of effects that you do with heading widget so for instance you can do the cutout or the knockout text effect using the text editor as well you just need to replace Elementor heading title with Elementor text widget so within the text editor I've added a bit of text an image and another bit of text so you can click on the image here itself you can align the image you can also change the resolution and you can do a lot more so whatever I've taught with the image widget or the text widget or any other widget that has text or image you can do the same with the text editor widget so you can target these elements within the text editor widget how do we do that well it's quite easy let's inspect what the text editor widget is made up of so this is my image and th this is my text within the text editor widget and this is my image so I'll just click on inspect and you can see that everything within the text editor widget you can see here the class name Elementor text editor for Elementor heading widget it's Elementor heading title so you can see that everything is wrapped within a paragraph so everything is a paragraph so here you can see my text so everything is wrapped within my paragraph so the main class is Elementor text editor and within that I need to target individual elements so let's target our text first I'll go ahead I'll try to achieve the knockout text effect using this and one more thing if you're trying to achieve any CSS styles make sure that you change the text to paragraph because it won't let you format if you choose the predefined options from here so that's kind of buggy so I set it to paragraph I'll also add a little bit of padding of 10 pixels so that it looks clean now I'll just go ahead and I'll say selector the class name is Elementor text editor right and within that I'm targeting my paragraph which is my text so I'll just say color should be red or let's actually set that cut through text effect we need to set two more properties and I still can't see because I haven't set the text fill color so I'll just say the cut through text effect and just like that you can see my gradient text the same holds good for the images we'll just make the font size a bit bigger so that you can see 
So font size, I'll say 40 pixels. Now you can see the cut through effect. Okay, so we know how to target the text. It's simply selector space element text editor. So it will target all the text within that. So all the properties that you apply to the text will be applied to any text that's added within. So that's really good. And here I've added an image within my text editor widget. How do I target the text editor widgets image? Again, if you inspect, well, you'll know that the image carries a IMG tag. I'll just show you. So I just click on inspect and within my paragraph, it's wrapped within IMG. So I can simply target IMG. I can simply say selector space elementor text editor space IMG and I can target that particular image and I can apply all the filters and all the stuff that I've showed you with the elementor text ed editor widget and also the image widget. We have applied a lot of filters, CSS filters, on our FX, animations, caption overlays, all that you can do the same with the images right within your text editor widget. You don't need any other plugin. So I just say selector space elementor text editor space IMG, which is the HTML tag. So we are targeting the element based on the image and then you can apply any elements. So I'll have a filter of grayscale. I'll say 100%. So initially I'll have a black, black and white image and on hover, I want the filter to be removed. I've already shown this with the Elementor image widget. You can watch the video. Everything will be in Elementor Basics playlist. So I'll just say, I'll do a neat little transition. Cool. I'll also have a transform. Dwight, I'll say is in. So you can do all sorts of that stuff. And there's a lot more that you can do. So targeting the images with this is really cool. Okay. so. What about the content which is generated? So let's say if you generate a link, well, you can target the link as well. So you can change the on hover options for the link as well. So here I have a block code. So you can select this and if you click on this, well, your text will be formatted into block code. Well, block code is also again a HTML element. So you can preview that and you can see here the block code element. You can see within the block code element, your text is being formatted. So in order to target this, you can simply say Elementor text editor widget. So selector space dot Elementor text editor and space block code you can see the tag from here. So you can make your block code from something that looks like this. So let's actually go ahead and target the block code and change its styling. So within this, I'll add a padding of 2% color stands for the text color so that's more readable and I'll change the border radius property and let's change it to 50% so I've changed the padding as well so now it looks something like this totally unidentifiable right so it doesn't look anything like a block code so you can change your boring block code from something like this to this all just by using pure CSS. Of course, you can change the shapes and you can add as many values as you want. You can make all sorts of shapes here. You can do whatever you want, all with the power of CSS. So whatever element that you format with your rich text editor, you can target the same using CSS. And if you see any of block code styles on the internet, well, you can simply put all the code within this and your block code will be changed to something like this. You can also have column to two and each separated by 10 pixels. So just like that, you can also format this. So this is the multi column that I was talking about. So just like that, you have all your text formatted in any way that you want. And it's really powerful. So you can change basically the appearance. Also, you can also change the shape of this image using the same technique well so let's do the same border radius thing with this image and see how that looks like so so my image looks something like this so i just changed the shape of my image just by targeting it and adding a property of border radius of this 
let's add another value so you can change your image to all sorts of shapes just by tweaking the border radius it's really neat right you don't have to do so like i said text editor widget is a lot of widgets in one so it's heading widget it's image widget it's a block code widget separately it's also a short code widget so there are a lot of functionalities of this text editor widget and it's one of the most underrated widgets in elementor now you see the power of css elementor and this text editor widget i'll talk to you in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace